and I do enjoy he, like listening to him talk and hearing what he has to say. I just find him to be pretentious. I can a lot of the t- I can a agree with that time. as well. Like he thinks he's the smartest person yeah. in the room every yes. room he is in. Yes. Always. But yes. he is smart. He is. But I'm not saying that he's doesn't not, mean that you should go around acting like you are smarter yeah. and better than every person you interact with. Yeah. I don't know with. if he tried I think he was alluding to that and he's like, I know like when you're an intellectual Here's the thing, type, I think like, he, like right you're kind of looking at the bad, you're looking at all the good, yeah. but I think there's a little bit of both. No, I admit I'm, I think I'm, he, I think he has his, his faults, but no. I also think he has apologized a bunch of times and has changed as a person. So. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I, I, this is the last. <laughs> we can end it here. This is the last thing. I think you are. I think you are right as well. I'm just saying when you agree, like it's like oh, he doesn't have to talk about it anymore because he's done it. I in my mind, I just think like if you agree to do a show like Collar Daddy, those. Or it's kind of what you're signing up for, I in my opinion. But uh, I yeah, think but like, but like she Haley Bieber, for she example, she didn't give yeah. that to him. Yeah. So Haley Bieber like, like definitely wanted to talk about everything. She like yeah. she went on being like, I want to talk about this. Yeah, they didn't yeah, talk yeah. about John a Mary, single like, thing. Was like I don't like why, so I can get shit on on TikTok if I mention Taylor Swift's name. Like yeah, yeah, I don't know. I mean, definitely it didn't fair. it didn't go well for Haley Bieber on there. You don't think? Uh no. The reception to Haley Bieber on Call Her Daddy was awful really not for me i thought it was yeah. fine yeah. in the real world i think everyone thought it was fine but online the reception was like why would she do that she was just making her own name for herself you know everyone's following yeah. all her trends now she just ruined it which in hindsight i don't think is true at all but people no. did not think that that was a smart move by her at all yeah it goes both ways yeah uh for for these celebrities it's it's always what happens damned if you do damned if you don't always yeah i i thought it i mean i yeah. i like Haley Bieber yeah. a lot so i thought it was we'll be we'll going, be good to you john if you come yes. here yes <laughs> yes but we'll have to ask you but some you hard questions but you did not listen to the interview no i didn't yeah i'm i'm yes. just giving my i know you're giving your uh, john mayer opinion i'm just giving my but opinion yeah. from it's, what it's i'm hearing it's essentially what you've heard already like that's what no, i'm saying yeah, there though, what, like yeah. it wasn't I'm a massive just, yeah I did, you know, I wish he sang more Christmas songs. I'm not going to lie. Oh, uh, yeah. That would have been cool. I wish he almost just sang like a a, a whole Christmas song. Everyone concert. should look up uh, Please. What is the song? Please Come have Home for Christmas. Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. He sang no, at no. the end. It was stunning. Well, but Please Come Home for Christmas is a song, right? Uh, or I'll Be Home for Christmas. I'll Be Home for Christmas. I'll, I'll Be Home for Christmas. I'll Be Home for Christmas. Yes. Look that up, John Mayer on YouTube. Do you think that John Mayer and Taylor Swift will ever, like, do something no. together ever no. like no 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 they run into each other literally somewhere. like not like a Haley Bieber Selena Gomez zero percent zero percent zero percent I think if because there was she won't is why yeah yeah I, I think I think that's a probably a hard and fast I think you can tell from the songs that she's written she's not exactly like Give it a rest. Hillary. Gonna try and move away from that. It's been 15 years. Oh, Noah, that's a terrible way to look at it, but. It's kind of like Jake Gyllenhaal. No matter what they say, yeah. everyone's gonna take Taylor Swift's side. So why even open up your mouth about it? No, absolutely. I get that. Because they are at a lose lose situation. No, no, definitely. Here when like, it comes to Taylor Swift. No, like, definitely. She's definitely. a goddamn army. It, it's definitely. It, like, they are in a lose no, lose situation. And he, he, de- he made it very clear talking about, you know, wanting to be like relevancy and trying to be forgotten in the things that, you know, he doesn't want to be remembered in and his psyche when he was dating all these beautiful, famous women that like he grew up thinking he wasn't necessarily worthy of that and these things. So he was like, he was talking about, he's like, you know, it wasn't me being like douchey was more like me being like, oh my God, do you want me? Like, so I don't know. But that's, to me, like that's where I kind of roll my eyes a little bit just because there's some things where he like he's just a nerdy guy in comes high off a little self-righteous. Like he's done all this work and now he's so evolved and like he's reached this level. I, I do just wish maybe he, Alex asked him about like age discrepancies in dating. 